welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video, which is the last video in Fashion Mumbler haul week. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed all the hauls that have been on my channel this week. I will leave every single one of them linked down below. We've had Zara, we've had Primark, we've had River Island, Topshop, we had a premium haul with like Club Monaco, Karen Millen, Reese, even Netta Porter. So a huge, huge host of hauls on my channel this week. I really hope you guys have enjoyed them. Today's haul is going to be misguided and actually, ironically, it's the most summary of all of the hauls because I'm going on holiday next week to Italy and I did want to pick up a few more summary pieces. So without further ado, let's get started. So this first piece could actually be worn as an autumnal piece as well because it is long sleeved and fairly thick fabric um, but I spotted this on the site and it looked absolutely beautiful on the model because of this gorgeous detailing on the sleeves. I just love a good sleeve detail, I love a fluted sleeve, this one is more flared than fluted I would say but I have to say this looks pretty big, I think it must have been pinned on the model on the site because this was the smallest size available, this is a size small um, but it does look quite big and I feel like it could look a little bit tenty on me, I'll insert an overlay now of me trying it on so you can see how big it looks but Mm, I think this might be a bit big, but it's a shame because the detail on the sleeves is so pretty and just a really nice way to elevate quite a plain white top. Next up is another white piece. I think that, ah, this is another top and this one looks like a little bit more successful than the last. Um, this one is quite Victoriana style. It's got a really high collar, a high neck and then you've got a zip going all the way down the back to let yourself in and out. This detail, I'm going to come a bit closer so you can see it, this kind of detail here, this like lace with the with the bobbles, if that makes sense, really reminds me of self-portrait. I have quite a lot of self-portrait styles that have that same kind of detailing on it, and I definitely think that wearing this will give off the effect of a really high-end top, but I think this is around £20, if that. So very, very impressed with that. Again, I'll show you what it looks like on. Also really like this almost peplum style lace at the bottom so it should have a really lovely feminine shape to it so I think I'll be wearing that quite a lot on my upcoming holiday. I also wanted to pick up a new pair of denim shorts for my holiday. If you watched my previous holiday lookbooks you'll know that I was wearing so 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 much this pair from French Connection with some like stitching on them and I adore them but you guys were starting to get a bit annoyed because they are sold out so I thought I'd get a new pair that I can wear and um, that won't be sold out. This pair I think are absolutely adorable. They're covered in pearls. I love Love pearls um, and they are really nice and high-waisted as well. Fingers crossed these fit. The only thing that I'm thinking is they are very short. I know denim shorts are normally hot pants, they go up your bum a little bit, but what I loved about the French Connection ones was that they were a little bit longer so you didn't have quite so much crotch or bum on display, but these are going to be pretty short. I'll give them a go and um, yeah, fingers crossed I can get away with it. So this I thought was a really nice transition piece. If, like me, you're going on any holidays in the late summer, then this is a really nice way of getting some more autumnal colours into your holiday wardrobe. So it is a play suit, it goes around the neck like a halter neck, and then you've got this kind of open uh, cold shoulder detail. As I mentioned, the colours are fairly autumnal, you've got these beautiful vivid red flowers, and then it is a little short play suit, which I just absolutely love that style of play suit. Um, I think it's nicer when they're short than a skirt um, because you can get away with wearing something a bit shorter and it's not so revealing. It's also got a lovely keyhole detail in the back here so you'll get a little bit of your tanned back showing through. And then once again it has got this um, self-portrait style laddering down it which again I think gives it a really lovely slightly more higher end look to it. So fingers crossed this will look lovely on. Definitely one I think I'll be wearing a lot in my upcoming trip to Italy. Right, the next thing is a pair of shoes. I find it really funny when they don't bother like putting them in their own um, shoe box because we all know that these shoes are gonna be in multiple retailers, all made in the same Chinese factory, um, but they don't even bother changing the factory name off the box, so that's really funny. But um, I picked up this pair of espadrilles, that was such a ramble, Pe picked up this pair of espadrilles, I really love the blush colour of them, I love that they are mules and espadrilles, two of my favourite shoe styles, and then they have got this stud detail on the toe, which is a little bit Valentino-esque, just gives them a slightly more higher end feel. These are the kind of shoes that you'll just slip on so regularly while on holiday, I thought they'd be very practical and I'd get 
tons of use out of them. So this is actually the top that made me make the order. I saw it on the new in section and I thought it looked beautiful. So striking in photos, which not gonna lie, is definitely what spurred me to get it. It's a weird neoprene material, but it is a bandeau top. It doesn't help that I'm wearing white now, so you can't really see the shape of it. Apart from the weird material, I think this is a really effective top. So it's kind of like a boob tube, but with this almost paper bag style hem, um, hem or neckline at the top here. I think because the material is so stretchy, it doesn't even have any fastening. So like the way that this has been made is so, so simple. If I had the time or the effort, I could probably make this myself. It's literally just pleated fabric and one line of stitching. That's all it is because the fact it's neoprene, the rest of the edges have just been cut. And actually they've not been cut very straight. If you can see there, <laughs> really not terribly good quality at all, but what do you expect when you're paying like 12 quid for a top? Um, I don't know. I mean, it is a shame that the quality is quite low, but it's going to look cute in photos. So probably going to be a keeper. <laughs> We have another darker coloured item here. I really am pushing the boat out. Uh, this is a silky play suit beach cover up. I thought this would be the kind of thing you can stick on over a bikini or swimsuit when you're going for lunch, that kind of thing. Um, really lovely lightweight material, so if it's nice and warm, then you won't get too hot and sweaty in this. By the way, everything I picked up is usually in the smallest size available on the site. This does, however, look quite low cut, so you're gonna have to be very happy to have your bikini on show. Material is really lovely, um, and then you've got, once again, a trumpet style sleeve. Quite a short little play suit, once again, but when you've got nice brown legs, you don't really mind. And then you've got a tie-in at the waist, so you can create a lovely, flattering figure. Really, really like the print on this. It's like a paisley tile effect, um, and, I can't wear black, it just does not suit me, but navy I feel like is a dark colour that I can get away with. So this is another piece that you can just stick on on holiday, really easy to pop on because it's so elasticated and it is an off the shoulder, shoulder? Shoulder bardo style top. Again, I absolutely adore this print, it is a deep burgundy kind of brownie colour with this almost Indian style henery kind of pattern on it. Nice and autumnal, but still a summer piece. So fabulous for transition time. Um, again, I got the size six in this one. I think this is gonna be, once again, the kind of piece you take on holiday and just wear so much, because it's so easy to fling on. If you don't wanna properly get dressed in the morning, when you wanna go down for breakfast, or you want to pop something on after spending the afternoon by the pool, then this is going to be a really lovely piece for this. I think you'd almost call this like a scarf print, like I can imagine um, a very expensive scarf having this print on it, maybe a Hermes or something along those lines. So yeah, hopefully this is not too short on me, uh, but once again, when you're on holiday, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, very impressed with that one. Looks like I accidentally got two of the scuba, not very well made bardo tops. So that's gonna have to go in the return pile. And then we've got two more pieces. This is another bit that I was really excited about. So this is a swimming costume, which is, wow, really big. It looks huge, it's an extra small, but that looks really wide. Um, hopefully this fits, I will let you know in the overlay. Um, but yeah, it is of course inspired by the Kini bikinis. Actually, we say that just because Kini is the most expensive brand that does it, or the most well-known, but they may not have been the first. So um, yeah, sorry if someone else invented this crochet style before Kini. What I have noticed is it does have little slits here and it does have a bit of padding. So if you wanted to add some more padding, then you could do that. But yeah, crochet style white swimming costume. I love swimming costumes um, and feel much more comfortable in them. This one's got a lovely low back. Yes, the quality is really not there. It is obvious that it's a lot cheaper than the Kini ones, um, as in like all the stitching is not even the right colour and it's very visible but it shouldn't be too obvious when the bikini or swimming costume is on and you should still get a really lovely effect from this especially if you just want this design style if like me you really love the style then it's a really nice affordable way of banking that trend and last but not least, I picked up a pair of sunglasses. As I mentioned in my how to accessorize video, which I'll leave linked up here, um, I always like to take a affordable or an affordable pair of sunglasses with me on holiday because if I'm wearing a pair that's slightly more expensive, then I want to go in the sea, I get salt in them, or worst case scenario, I lose them. I get very, very upset. So I like to take an affordable pair with me. I wanted to treat myself to a new pair just because 
I have worn my other one so many times and I really like the pink tortoise shell on these ones so it's that typical kind of tortoise shell design but the color is actually uh, more of a light pink and the brown so nice soft color these I think were about eight pounds so really affordable let's give them a quick try I always go for like a cat eye shape because I feel like that suits my face shape the best. And yes, these are quite big, but I do feel pretty glamorous in them. So yeah, I really, really like those. It says total UV protection as well. So you're not um, missing out on the protection. They come with a little sunglasses case, which is made from like an absorbent material. So it could double up as your cleaning cloth as well. So that's a really good idea from Misguided. So that's everything that I picked up in my latest misguided haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through my pieces with me and keep an eye out for my Sienna videos and you'll be able to see all of these in action. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed haul week. It's been so much fun sharing all of these bits and bobs with you. And if you are new to my channel, then I hope you've enjoyed this shopping experience and that you'll stick around for more videos. If that's the case, then please do hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure the notifications turned on because a few of these videos I've been getting tweets saying that you've not been told, they've not been coming up in subscription boxes. So just click the little bell and make sure it says always on and that way you'll always be notified of my new videos. They won't be one every single day for a little while, um, but I normally do two or three videos a week. So yeah, I hope you'll stick around. If you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed haul week, then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you'd like to see here on my channel as we move into autumn. And yeah, that is all from me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.